Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at what this radiator cap can tell you. The radiator cap can provide important clues about the health of your vehicle, the cooling system, and it can give you lots of signals that can help you diagnose what is going on with your engine. Let's have a look at some of the things that can be indicated on the radiator cap. Well, let's begin from the cooling system pressure issue. If there is a pressure with if there is a pressure issue with the cooling system, the radiator cap can tell you. For example, blown off cap or coolant spray. If there is excessive blow coming out of here, out of this discharge pipe, if there is excessive water coming out, and if there is a blown radiator cap, that indicates a problem with the pressure, excessive pressure. Excessive pressure can be caused by blown head gasket if the compression is leaking into the system that can make excessive pressure to develop and that can discharge lots of coolant through this pipe or it can even overthrow the radiator cap so blown off cap or coolant spray excessive coolant spray can be an indication of a blown head gasket blocked radiator or faulty pressure relief valve you know this when pressure is acting it has to open this passage discharging coolant if there is a problem with the spring that is holding this in place if there is a problem with the gasket seal that can cause excessive coolant leakage so that is one indication if there is no pressure in here when you open this especially if it is a little warm engine when you open this there has to be pressure if there is no pressure when opening the radiator if you don't hear a pressure discharge when opening a radiator that indicates a broken seal this seal if it goes bad if this seal is going bad that can cause pressure leakage so the cooling system will not be pressurized anymore a faulty seal a broken seal can cause that problem and a broken cap spring can also be susceptible if there is excessive leakage around the radiator cap or going into the expansion tank that indicates worn or damaged gasket excessive leakage increase indicates this is not sealing properly this gasket when it is failing it will stop sealing properly so that has to be checked overheating with no visible external leak it could also be caused by bad radiator cap if it is not maintaining pressure the duty of the radiator cap is to maintain this pressure up till up to one bar up to 1.1 bar it has to maintain that kind of pressure inside the cooling system if that is not happening that can lead to engine overheating as coolant will leak from the system. The radiator cap can also tell us if there is a problem with the cylinder head gasket. If there is a problem with the head gasket, you will find milky oil residue under here. If you find milky oil residue or if you insert in here and find milky coolant, that indicates coolant mixing with engine oil. That could be caused by a blown head gasket. Or if you happen to notice there is constant bubbling, you open the radiator cap and run the engine and if you see constant bubble coming out of the coolant, that also indicates compression is leaking into the cooling system. That is an indication of a blown head gasket. If the overflow tank is constantly filling and overflowing, that indicates this radiator cap is not holding pressure. It is not building pressure. If our overflow tank is empty but the radiator is full, it indicates the cap is not releasing excess pressure. Now the other thing that can be indicated in the cooling system is if air is trapped. If you see this bulging out when the engine is running, if you see this bulging out, it indicates either increased pressure, either air is trapped in the system. So bulging out of the engine hoses, the coolant hoses when the engine is running can be an indication of air trapped in the system. Overheating after refilling the coolant can also indicate air trapped in the system and the radiator cap is not allowing the air to be removed burping has to be there air removal has to be accommodated by the radiator and whenever you open a radiator cap always try to investigate the condition of the seal this is the pressure seal and there is also another seal in the background right there there is a seal make sure that there is in there they are all intact and check the play of the radiator cap spring it has to play freely and also check this vacuum valve the vacuum valve will allow coolant to return when vacuum develop when engine is shut off the coolant in here the previously expanded coolant will start to condense 
and when that happens vacuum will be created in the system if you see this bulging in if it is bulging in like so after the engine is shut off that indicates the vacuum valve is not working the vacuum valve it should allow coolant re-entering into the cooling system if this is vented to the expansion tank if this is vented to the outside it will allow air to enter and fill that vacuum if that is not the case this will shrink if you notice that this is shrinking in it means this vacuum valve is not working properly the vacuum valve should open when there is vacuum when there is suction this way it should open and allow coolant return into the cooling system and prevent the entire cooling system from collapsing so every time inspect the seal for cracks every time you remove this radiator cap inspect for any crack for inspect for any crack on the seal and uh, if it is cracked if these seals are not sealing anymore it needs replacement check the pressure rating if you have a radiator pressure tested you can test the opening pressure the opening pressure for this particular is right here it is written 1.1 that is 1.1 bar so you can check the opening pressure the rating has to be maintained if there is a problem with the radiator cap it needs replacement it is a very cheap part to replace a bad cap can mimic symptoms of a failed thermostat or a failed water pump or a failed haze gasket so always check it first bottom line is the radiator cap is a very simple but very critical diagnostic tool if your car is overheating or if it is losing coolant inspect the cap before assuming other problems and once you remove the radiator cap always check the condition of the coolant and uh, check to see if there is any rust or scale developing in the cooling system that will help you diagnose the condition of the coolant if it needs flashing or not and whenever you reinstall this radiator cap make sure to align these pins into these notches make sure it is perfectly aligned you have to align it in such a fashion press it down to compress the radiator cap spring and then turn it clockwise and turn it until it aligns with the radiator until it aligns with the radiator you have to turn it and once you place it in such a fashion pull it up nag it out in order to see if this is held in place or not that will help you make sure that the radiator cap is in place otherwise if it is not properly sealed as you drive it might fall off and uh, that might lead to engine overheating so these are some of the things that you can do and some of the things that the radiator cap can tell you. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding what the radiator cap can tell us about the engine. If you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.